Saad Hariri, his status, he's a player on the board, whether he's a pawn or a king, we don't know. But go, making that move back to Lebanon, is that a good move for Saudi Arabia? good move for Iran. Uh, how would you assess it? It depends on if he resigns or not and what comes after his resignation. That will ultimately dictate if this is going to be positive or who this will be positive for, for either for Iran or for Saudi Arabia, and those two are necessarily mutually exclusive. So if he does go back and either resigns and someone replaces him who is also in tune with the Saudi line, like for example his brother Baha, then that would be very much to the benefit of Saudi Arabia. I don't know that it will necessarily entail any more progress, because essentially it would be back to square one, right, with a very divided government and a political paralysis, really. Um, but that would keep in tune with uh, Saudi interests in that country. On the other hand, if he goes back, for example, or doesn't go back, and uh, be it whatever the case, the Hariri family or the Hariri clan does not go back into politics in whatever format, and someone else replaces him who is not uh, in the same uh, box with the Saudi narrative, then they stand to lose a lot because the next player up is Hezbollah and they are by far the most formidable political party in that country. I want to bring in just a little bit more context because the speech that we've been talking about from Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah came a day after the Arab League got together in Cairo.